In 1924, Mr. Joseph Ward founded Ward Manufacturing in Blossburg, Pennsylvania. The company began by manufacturing cast iron fittings and has greatly expanded the Ward product line over the last century. In 1990, a corrugated stainless steel tubing to be used for fuel gas piping was added to the Ward product family. This revolutionary new product was named WardFlex. Today, a full WardFlex tubing and fitting product line is available for residential and commercial use. Hi everyone, I'm Tim Murray from Ward Manufacturing. Today I'm here to talk to you about bonding of our WardFlex corrugated stainless steel tubing or CSST. We'll go through the requirements of how to do it, why it's required, and show some examples of what the product looks like after the installation is done. To begin, we have two different types of CSST. Our first is our yellow WordFlex, and our second is our black WordFlex Max. The difference in the two comes down to the installation with the bonding. Um, yellow WordFlex requires direct bonding. Black WordFlex Max does not, uh, according to our instructions as well as the, the National Fuel Gas Code. So the first question we always get is why do we have to bond yellow WordFlex? The answer is that we're, we're trying to prevent an arc happening when there's electricity introduced to the fuel gas piping system or other metallic systems within the structure. What can happen is if the systems are not tied together electrically, that charge can jump from one system to the other. And if that happens with WordFlex because of the thin nature of the stainless steel, it can damage that, that product, causing a leak and possibly a, a fire to start. So bonding is put in place so that we minimize the risk of that arc taking place. By doing that, we, we put every, all the metallic systems at the same electric potential, taking away that benefit or that advantage for the electrical charge to jump from one system to the other on its search for ground. So now let's talk about our components that go into this installation. The first is gonna be the bonding clamp. So this is what our, our typical bonding clamp looks like. We, we offered it in two different sizes depending on the size pipe that you're using and the bonding clamps do need to be listed to UL467 so it doesn't have to be the ones we supply. You can get standard bonding clamps at an electrical or plumbing outlet store. That's no problem. We offer it as a, as a matter of convenience for you. The second thing is that you need at least a minimum, a minimum of a 6 gauge copper wire or equivalent. If you're going to aluminum you'd have to go to a 4 gauge. And the final piece is that you need some piping component to attach it to, and that's going to be a rigid piece of uh, stainless or steel pipe, one of our brass fittings, a malleable iron fitting, one of our manifolds, anything basically but the CSST itself. We don't want that on there. Those clamps aren't listed to be put on our tubing, and also if you put it on top of the polyethylene jacket, it's not going to be conductive and, and won't work. And when attaching the clamp to one of the metallic pieces in the system, it's important to make sure that there's no paint or, or any other type of residue between the clamp and the metal surface. So a black pipe nipple, which has a black paint on top of it, that, plate, that paint needs to be cleaned off with a piece of sandpaper, or emery cloth, something like that, to get it down to the bare metal to make sure you have a good metallic connection between that bonding clamp and the steel pipe or whatever other component it may be. So next let's talk about the actual installation of bonding. So the bonding clamp can go anywhere in the gas piping system on a piece of rigid material like we talked about. It can go from the beginning of the system, anywhere on the customer side of the gas meter, to the end of the system. Ideally, we recommend that that bonding clamp gets placed as close as possible to the electrical grounding system because that's where the bonding wire is going to be terminated. And that brings us to our next point. The bonding wire will be connected to the clamp on the gas piping system. The opposite end will be then routed to the electrical panel or the grounding rod that the electrical panel is tied to and, and securely attached there to complete that bond. And the final question that we get typically is who has to do the bonding? It depends on where you're located. The local jurisdiction may dictate who can and cannot do electrical work such as bonding. In some cases, our, the WordFlex installer, the person who's handling the material, can finish out the job and do that. Other times, an electrical contractor like an electrician will have to be called in to finish that work. So earlier I said we have the two different CSST products, one being the yellow WordFlex, the other being the black WordFlex Max, and I mentioned that only the yellow WordFlex requires this direct bonding that we just talked about. The reason being is that black WordFlex Max is listed as an arc resistant jacketed CSST product according to the governing standard for CSST. 
So what that means is there is there's properties in this coating that allow it to absorb an arc if an arc takes place due to a stray electricity. That, that energy will be transferred over the coating and it will act as a uh, protectant over the stainless steel that's underneath, reducing the risk that a puncture would happen in that, that situation. <clears throat> if bonding is required of it, because there are some local areas that are going to require it depending on what version of the National Fuel Gas Code they have, or if they've adopted additional requirements, they're going to take precedent and if that's the case, you would bond the system with WordFlex Max the same way that you would with yellow WordFlex. Thanks again for joining us today. I hope this information has been helpful. For more information on our WordFlex products and training, as well as our design and installation guide, visit our website at wardmfg.com.